Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use a, a collection view for your application. So create a new project and choose single view application and from my tu tutorial I'm gonna call it um, collection view tutorial. So collection view is used to display data to the user in a in a in a grid like fashion. So from there, just use a storyboard and use automatic reference counting. And then just choose create. Because the table view displays it in a, all the data in a row, in a row for the user. But collection view, you can display it like you de define your own cell size and you display it like um, in, row, in columns and rows for the users, depending the number of column it depends on how big you create your cell to be so here in a storyboard um, find a collection view and put it in your in your view controller um, view controller storyboard and also find a collection view cell and put one there I'm gonna I'm gonna change the background of my cell so you can see um, you can see a little bit better. Oops, not that far. Oh no, I just want this cell. All right. Here, let me make it green. Make it a little bit bigger. And I want to change the background of my collection view also. Okay, collection view. Okay, I'm gonna make make it blue. All right. So now let me me make my connection first. So my collection view control click and drag it onto our view controller, and I'm gonna call it my collection view type is UI collection view storage is weak and then I connect that and for my custom view cell I'm gonna have a no not custom view cell but my cell that I'm gonna be using I'm gonna I'm gonna have an image view in here and I'm going to have a label in there You know, I'm not going to rename it, just going to leave it like that. Alright, and from there, we just need to create a custom class for our, for our cell. So choose File, New File, choose an Objective-C class, and it will be a subclass of UI, UI Collection View Cell. And the class I'm gonna call it custom cell. And then just click next and make sure our target is selected and create our class. Alright, so here I'm gonna choose my cell. Get rid of the assistant editor first. Choose my cell and then go to your um oh, identity inspector. In class instead of being a UI view controller, we're gonna change it to be a custom class of custom cell all right and from there we need to make our connections for that also so open up your editor go to manual collection view tutorial collection view tutorial and then um, custom cell dot h let me hide my utilities area there a little more room Control click and drag the image onto there and I'm gonna call it my image. Alright, and label control click drag onto there. I'm gonna call it my description label. Type will be UI label, storage will be weak. Alright, so those are the connections that we needed for our for our custom cell which has an image and a label description and we already 
let's highlight it over make sure they're selected and we already made the connections for this one for our my collection view we already made that connection so that's all the connections that we need and now we go to our oh we need one more thing in the dot h in the view controller dot h file we need to declare that we're going to be using the delicate and data source methods for the UI collection view data source UI collection view delicate all right so do that at the end of your view controller dot h file and in your view controller dot m um, here I'm gonna define two instance variable first because we need like we need some images and descriptions in there so to array and this array array of images and NS array array of descriptions so those will be the description that goes with the images and let's see what images I have All right, so I have these five images so I'm going to let me make a duplicate and rename it so it's a little bit easier All right. So this I'm going to call it 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Alright, so those would be my 5 images that I'll, I'll use in, the, in this tutorial. So here, I'll, I'll drag it onto my project and then just click copy item into destination groups folder. Make sure that the copy item is selected and then add to target and then finish. Because if you don't click the copy items, then like it just creates a reference to these right here. So if you accidentally delete these or delete it on purpose, then your 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 um your app's gonna have a problem. So if you make a copy, it actually makes a copy of these these images into your into your projects. Okay, a little off topic there, but all right, let's let's continue to um, our view did load we're gonna initialize our two array so array of images equals ns array alloc init with objects and the objects that I have is one dot um, not jpg one dot png two dot jpg three dot jpg Four dot jpg five dot jpg all right so those are my five images that I have in there that's my array of images and now I'm gonna do my array of descriptions equals ns array alloc init with init with objects also and for my objects I'm just gonna literally type out one two three four and five so those are my descriptions all right so that's pretty much all we need for view did load and now we move on to doing the the data source and delicate method of um, of the collection view oh yeah and don't forget to do this also because you remember how in the table view you have to set the delicate and data source of the table view so we have to do the same thing here self my collection view set data source self and self my collection view set delicate self also all right and now the methods are very similar to a table view again. I always um, refer back to the table view just because I'm, I'm more familiar with that. But here okay, is number of sections in collection view. The table views method is called number of sections in, in the table view. So see how that's similar. So I'm just going to have one section here. And in table view I would just start typing table view and things would start appearing but in collection view I was just gonna start typing collection view and all the methods will start appearing 
so there's this method number of sections oh number of items in section and the well referring back to the table again is called number of rows in section so this is called number of items in section and for that I'm gonna return array of descriptions count so it's returning however many descript however many item is in my um, array of description and I can either do array of descriptions or array of images because they both have um have five elements in there and uh, another method that we need is a cell for cell for section at index path so collection view look for cell for cell, not cell for section sorry cell for item at index path choose that one and start it off pretty much the same way as you would for a, for a table view static and a string cell identifier cell make sure I've, I've um, already changed the name of the cell identifier reusable here we need to do this so our identifier we need to call it cell right here so make sure you select your custom cell go to your um, attributes inspector and identifier make it cell go back to our view control dot h here we go um, and a string cell identifier cell and from there we can start using our custom cell so you have to import it import custom cell dot h and go back here custom cell cell equals collection view dq reusable cell with reuse identifier cell identifier for index path index path all right and from there we do we can start setting the, the things in our cell so cell my image set image so I'm gonna set the image to be the objects that are in my array of images so UI image image name and the image name will be array of images object that index index path dot Oh, well, not row, but item for this. One more brackets here. Then cell, uh, my description label, set text. The text will be array of descriptions, object at index, index path dot item. All right, and at the very end, return cell. And I think that's all we need in order to get our project up. And let's see that it's working. So I'm running it on the iPhone simulator. Okay, that's good. That's perfect so here's our description not description sorry here's our here's our image and here's our custom custom label so we can also resize it if we resize it it just goes accordingly so here I've resized it so now um, before I run it let's look at the old the, the old one we have this place three three in a row but here I've resized it so it looks like it should only do two in a row two so that's basically how you do your um, your collection view and yeah pretty much the main things is the things that can get tricky is um, when you create your custom cell you don't forget to rename the reusable identifier don't forget to change your your class to um. Don't forget to change your class to the custom cell. 
and in our view controller don't forget to um, add these delegate and data source methods and in our view controller set the delegate and data source method to our own collection view and these methods are are pretty straightforward very similar to um to the table views to the table view um delegate and data source methods and that's pretty much all i have for the collection view tutorials and you can also you can also have a method like the like the did select item kind of like the table view ones where when the user actually selects on this it actually goes to another view but i think i'll save that for the next tutorial but for this one thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye